Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Today, a coronavirus special on the new J&J single dose vaccine, it's Johnson & Johnson. So it has been reported that there may be an FDA approval coming up uh, soon. So this is a timely point to discuss how this vaccine works against COVID-19. I'm gonna do a really quick recap on how COVID-19 infects the body. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about exactly how this vaccine works. So here you have SARS-CoV-2, uh, the virus that causes COVID-19. So if we play this uh, animation, you'll see that it attaches to the ACE2 receptor on our cells, and then it enters the cell, uh, it attaches via the spike protein, you can see on the surface of the virus, uh, and then enters our cell, replicates again and again and again, hijacks the cell, might even kill the cell, and then goes off to infect other cells. And that's why you feel bad, because the cells inside your body are actually being destroyed. So how do vaccines work? Well, long story short is they encourage your immune system to make antibodies against the virus. And these antibodies, these green things, they stick to the spike proteins, which has a couple of effects. It means that the spike proteins have a difficult job of attaching to the ACE2 receptor. You'll see there it just bounced off. And the other thing is that they tag the virus for degradation by the immune system so that immune cells like this gobble them up and destroy them. So how does the uh, J&J vaccine work? Well, if you look at the structure of the virus, this is the virus itself, the world's first 3D interactive visualization of COVID-19. Specifically, I want to look at the RNA. This is RNA. Uh, this is the genetic code that uh, enables this virus to replicate and build all of the various structures around it, including the spike proteins. So what Johnson & Johnson did was they took the RNA, a particular bit of the RNA, which coded for these spike proteins. And then what they did was they very cleverly uh, made uh, DNA, double-stranded DNA, uh, which also codes for that RNA, and they put that into a, vac into a virus. So using this uh, draw feature, so this is the adenovirus, which is a harmless virus. I'm just gonna draw it like this. That's your adenovirus right there. And they put this DNA, which codes for that RNA, which then makes the spike proteins inside this adenovirus. And they put that inside a vaccine. So this adenovirus then goes inside your, it actually goes inside your cells in your body. And what it does when it goes inside the cells in your body is it delivers this DNA into the cells. And then the DNA codes for RNA. The RNA then creates these spike proteins. And so on the surface of your cells, here's a cell. I'm just going to draw a little cell right here. You'll get these spike proteins on the surface of the cell, which have developed because the vaccine stimulated this cell to create them. And so because of that, your immune system will recognize these spike proteins as foreign and create these antibodies against them, just like you saw in the previous animation. So that's how the vaccine works. Is it effective? Well, if you look at the data, it's about 66% effective against mild to moderate severe cases of COVID-19 protection against them. Uh, but if you look at the um, more severe cases, it's actually more effective against more severe cases. So it's 80 something percent effective against more severe cases. But if you look at it at, at moderate with severe, it brings it down to about 66 percent. It's also um, notably effective against the South African uh, variant. It's actually the most effective of the vaccine so far. You'll see that if you compare it to uh, the current vaccines that are approved in the US, Pfizer and Moderna, there are actually fewer side effects. However, there are still really few side effects in Pfizer and Moderna. So you really shouldn't be comparing the vaccines. They're all good vaccines. They all work effectively against COVID-19. So in the next couple of days, maybe even by Saturday, this could be FDA approved and it could be rolled out. This is different in that it's a single shot vaccine. You only need one vaccine as opposed to two, which just makes it generally easier. And it's also uh, not needed to be stored at such frigid temperatures. It can be stored actually just above uh, freezing. So it makes storing this vaccine much, much easier and less expensive and easier to roll out. This was a Dr. Tom Talk special on the J&J COVID-19 vaccine. For any more information, go to biodigital.com.